Anna was directed by Luke Besson and stars Sasha Luce, Helen Mirren, Luke Evans, and Cillian Murphy. And it's an action drama about a young woman named Anna who is recruited by the KGB in Moscow when she unleashes her incredible strength and skill to become one of the world's most feared government assassins. Sounds cool, right? <laughs> no. Start out with the positives. The characters was decent. You throw Luke Evans and Cillian Murphy in a movie, it's going to be pretty good. The only other movies I've seen these guys in was like The Fast and Furious for Luke Evans and Batman Begins and Red Eye, which he, which Cillian Murphy was great in those films. Luke Evans was great in what he did too, in what I've seen. And when they added them guys together in this film, I thought it was pretty good. They gave solid performances as to the government officials that Anna works for. Helen Mirren plays a KGB officer or a recruiter, and I thought her performance was pretty decent. I like her as an actor. She made me chuckle in some parts. I gotta be honest, she made me laugh in some parts, but she was pretty decent. Sasha Luce plays Anna. She's really beautiful, she's daring, and dare I say, sexy. What can I say? I'm a guy. Sue me. <laughs> but I thought she played the main character for this film pretty good. And she's like an actual Russian model, from what I read. The cinematography and the lighting, as usual, was done pretty well. I could see what was going on. The score was handled pretty well, too. Randomly around in my brain, I've got to put this in the mixed section of this review. And it's the story. There wasn't much there, but I didn't really full-blown hate it. It just wasn't much there. It was just about this woman that gets recruited by the KGB in Moscow and they train her to become an assassin. If you look at it, it's kind of like a female version of John Wick, but not the same because the way the movie was handled, it was no John Wick. I don't need to say anymore. <laughs> the action scenes was good, but it just wasn't as good as it could have been. Believe me, when you see the trailer for Anna, that's all you really need. You really don't even need to see this movie. I'm just being honest. And that's pretty sad, too. Well, where's my tissues? You had some twists and turns. I can't get into them too much. But the way they handled it was okay. I felt like they could have handled it a little better. Like I said, I won't get into it. It's, otherwise, it'd be spoilers. I try to keep all my videos spoiler free. But I just felt like they could have handled that part of the story a little better. And let's get into the negatives. And this was a letdown for me. And partially my fault because I really should have set my expectations too high. And I, I'm trying to do that nowadays with movies. But the pacing was very slow. I just felt like it dragged on so much. It's labeled as an action drama. But to me it was more drama. And like I mentioned before, the only action scene that will really get you pumping is that diner scene where she starts shooting everybody up. And that's in the trailer. I'm not really ruining anything, but that's why I say all you need to look at is the trailer and you may be fine. I mean, if you want to go see this movie, that's all fine and well, but I just feel like if you just watch the trailer, you're kind of satisfied until it comes out on Blu-ray. Just watch the trailer and you'll be set. Just, just do it. Do it. All right, a couple of things before getting into my final thoughts, and I had to do some research on this, but you know, all these sexual allegations, it's flaring up everywhere in Hollywood. Unfortunately, one did flare up that involved sexual and criminal allegations against director Luke Besson. This may be the reason why the studio has done it this way, but there's hardly been no promotion. There's hardly been any screen testings. It's like the studio was trying to distance themselves. And it's really sad because the people who worked on this film, I could tell they were working hard. I could really tell the commitment that these folks had. And it's sad because when something like this comes up and the studio don't have enough faith in it because of that, then, you know, what's the point? And it's like all that hard work goes out the window for nothing. So, it's really sad. My final thoughts, it was not as good as I expected. You're better off watching John Wick. John Wick is the man. He probably always will be the man until somebody else replaces him, which will be a cold day in hell at this point. But I'm just saying... 
and I just felt a little too watered down and you'd just be better to save your money and wait until it streams. I'm giving Anna a D plus. What did you think of Anna? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and get ripped ties. Like this video, share it. It helps my channel. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace to rip out.